Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is an out-of-cycle patch for Microsoft's malware protection engine. The malware protection engine is essentially the engine that all of Microsoft's uh, anti-malware services use to scan and protect you from malware. Today, Microsoft released an out-of-cycle patch, which means it is critically important for this malware protection engine. Basically, a Google researcher found a memory corrupt vulnerability in how the malware protection engine handles certain archive files. And by somehow getting a victim to download a specially crafted file, which this engine would scan, an attacker can leverage this flaw to gain complete control of your system. So it's a very dangerous and ironic flaw. By actually doing its job, scanning the files you download, bad guys can actually take over your system. As an aside, it turns out this vulnerability is due to one of the open source archiving packages that Microsoft added to their malware protection engine. In any case, if you're a Microsoft user that uses one of their anti-malware products, you absolutely should install this patch immediately. With that quick update, I want to share a few show notes. First, I'm running a little behind on videos. Since today's video, this one is actually critically important, I'm going to post it immediately, but you may see some older videos appear after this particular video. Another quick note, I'm about to start a really long bout of travel. Uh, between next week all the way through the end of May, I'm going to spend most of my time on the road, which means I'm going to have less time to actually shoot and post videos. Now you might have noticed I haven't really had as many videos as normal as it is, but do expect the video posting schedule to change a bit simply because of the constant travel. Now the positive side of this is as I'm traveling to security conferences like RSA and other WatchGuard events, hopefully I can add some additional interesting footage to some of the daily bites as well. On top of that, at RSA we're considering doing a daily video update talking about what we saw at the conference. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.